Hello and a very warm welcome to this Bitwig tutorial. In this episode I talk about the steps modulator. What it is and how you can use it, I'll tell you right now, but let's get started. So steps modulator is a modulator that you put in here in the modulation section. You click on the plus and then you just type in your steps. It's in the sequence category, and then you load the steps modul modulator. Clicking on it opens the steps modulator. So very simple um, modulation because it's a step sequencer. And um, important is that you have in the inspector over here, if you click on the modulator over here, you have a per voice setting so that you can modulate each voice, each, each note that comes in here. You can process uh, um, separately. So at the moment I leave it at um, general so um, all voices are processed in the same way and in the same time. Okay. So, or we can just leave that open. So the... Um, Steps modulator um, is relatively simple. You have here the display where you can draw in some steps, for example, everything, or just delete it, or you hold down the shift key and put your pencil somewhere over there so it deletes everything. Then you have a right-click menu. If you right-click over here, you can copy steps. For example, if you just do that, you can copy steps and paste steps, but <laughs> not in the same modulator. If you have some another modulator, for, for example, over here, <clears throat> we delete everything. Now we just copy the steps and paste the steps over here, for example. Then you have clear steps, so you don't have to do everything with the shift key and the mouse key. And then there are some additional um, options, generate, and you can generate a saw uh, wave. You can generate a square, for example, like the first half is filled and the second half is empty. Then a triangle, then a sine or a Fibonacci waveform. And if you increase here the steps, you can increase up to uh, 64 steps. Everything is a little bit more detailed like this, for example. For example, the sign is far more detailed. And as well, you not only can increase the steps or decrease the steps up to two, for example, you can um, put these, this whole step sequence from a un uh, from unipolar to bipolar, and then you have the whole sine wave, um, or for example, the whole um, saw in here, or everything else like the triangle, and so on. Then you have a transform menu where you can smooth those steps, and you saw like maybe we take well, the triangle is good enough for that. And a triangle, and now you can see over here that um, the step sequencer tries to smooth the edges a little bit. So transform to smooth, just a little bit. So it gets here a little bit smooth. And then there is a sharpen, it tries to sharpen it. And normalize, so it tries to normalize it and like doing a reverse. I can't see that really. Let's read the Fibonacci. And if you reverse the Fibonacci, for example, it reverses the whole thing over here. Then the inverse, the alt inverse, so every second or the, the every second is left alone and every uneven number is inversed for example remove dc is something um, where you um, forgot about uh, what the dc is written like i don't know that 
um, it's it has something to do when the um, the middle line of a digital converter uh, has some um, abbreviations no not abbreviations derivations from from the zero point and um, the, you can have a positive shift so everything that is below there let me generate a sine wave everything is below uh, the positive side gets uh, shifted to the uh, positive side then it, so everything that's down in the negative side gets shifted to the positive side that's better explanation so and then transform absolute so it's just flipped over to the to the other side and then there's a random swap and if you just take something like this and random swap the um, steps get switched random all over the place so that's the right click menu then as i um, already told you there is a unipolar bipolar switch like this then you can change the steps then here is um, uh, how the step sequencer is working from left to right or from right to left let me just play it like that so you see it's working from left to right or this way and um, with this little knob over here it's going from right to left and it's bouncing back like a like a ping pong the speed a little bit so you can see it really good like that and if you just deselect it it goes from the direction you selected over here and as well that's the loop um, option so if i stop it it just works one time and then it's over so you could use this as an maybe something like an adsr or a small msec um, how you like that then there's a clear button as well and you have here a um, random button so if you click on it there's there uh, is a random pattern created like every time you click it again the pattern is created newly on a random basis so and then we have a um, transport um, where the, the step sequence is synced to. So to the transport, every time I press spacebar or I hit the play button, um, the step sequencer is working then with a groove. So if you um, define something here with the groove, the step sequencer is... Um, using that information so you can use that on some rhythmic patterns for example then free running the pattern is always running I should always run when you should always run with free running i don't know why it's not running ah because i stopped it with the loop like this then with every node restart, it restarts from the beginning over here. Node random, it starts somewhere in the step sequencer if you press a node. And node advanced, it just steps one step further when you press a node every time. And if you use like this, it goes in different direction. Like this <laughs> okay and the explanation is always on the right side over here so i'll let it run on free on free group so here um, you can uh, scale the speed a little bit to faster and slower but this depends always on the synchronization over here so you can put it on half note or even quicker 32 notes some dotted some triplet hold on zero um, with one bar on hertz or on kilohertz for example and this is always um, these two parameters are the speed of the whole um, step sequencer then you have here some phase modulation so 
if you configure that to start, for example, with a note reset every time you hit a note, it starts over here and with the face you can shift this here around, or you can modulate the fade, uh, the, the face, you can modulate your fade. Okay, and this is a nice way to just um, say, okay, I want to start at the beginning, and I want to start somewhere in between, in the middle, or at the end, or somewhere else. So there's a nice way to set the position pointer where to start to. Then you have a smooth parameter. If you um, modulate, for example, let's modulate something. Uh, filter is always nice. But, oh, we take this like that. Just modulate the filter and this, and you see it's modulating. And maybe do it a little bit slower, like this. And sometimes you have very um, big jumps from zero over here, or from negative maximum to positive maximum. And to reduce all this, I reduce the steps, so we have go to these ones. You can smooth it down so it's not just the, the big jump, it just tries to smooth it, to round it a little bit, like a glide, for example. So depending, depending on the speed and the value, it, it can be that you you don't reach the maximum of the uh, modulation over here because it's too fast and um, before reaching the maximum value over here it is already on the at the next um, step and tries to modulate it for example here in the different direction so um, maybe we take it to the quarter note or even to a half note over here i know i'm very fast here and this is just jumping from one to the other let's do like that if i use the smooth over here down again but I think you get the concept so and this is the amount um, switch so normally you could uh, just modulate less or even more filter movements like that but um, you, there's a second amount that you can say, okay, I could automate this or just modulate it as well. So if I press this right now and I have set the modulation over here, you see it on this knob. And now we can um, fade in the modulations with turning up the amount. No smoothing. I like smoothing over here. And this amount knob or switch is um, bipolar, so you can do uh, the whole modulation like you intended to on the positive side, but you can go back and do it on the negative side. So it's like a little bit reverse modulation, or it is uh, reverse modulation. And if you start to use that on per voice, so you get very interesting results. You start like... Maybe like this.
little bit chaotic. Like that, but that's very nice. Okay, that's all about the steps modulator. I hope you liked it, and if yes, I would ask uh, you kindly for. because that helps the channel very much and I'm always happy to hear from you, to have some feedback from you. And if you have always, you're welcome to put in some comments like um, there's another trick or there's something um, I want to know about that or maybe you just say, hey, there's another device or modulator I would love to hear from you or see a video from you. Um, that would very would be very nice. And so I hope I see you uh, soon again in the next video. Stay healthy. See you soon. Ciao, ciao.